Welcome to Auto Chatter. Today's discussion is about manual transmissions. A little pro and con and who still offers them for 2023. As always, facts, opinions, and speculation will be given. Please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to hear them. So, you're shopping for a new car and want a clutch pedal? Auto Chatter has you covered. Not many years ago, this episode may have been a lot longer in length. There's less than 40 models to be had if a manual is your game. Want to know how many were offered 10 years prior? Over 110. And that's shrunk by quite a bit from 10 years prior to that. Most people buy all electric cars in the US now than the manual transmission ones. The take rate for manuals currently in the US is about 3% or less depending on which statistic you read. Why are manuals disappearing? A few reasons. One was, back in the day, manuals got better mileage. Modern automatics are not three or four speed units anymore. Nowadays, they could have had anywhere from five to 11 gears. And you also have CVTs, which stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. These things have infinite gear ratios within a certain range and tend to be good on fuel. And I find most of them about as entertaining as a tax audit. But with so many more gears, they can achieve as good or better mileage than a manual transmission. Manuals used to be the transmission choice for straight line performance. Years back, the manual version was almost always quicker. Not talking about extreme modified cars, of course. But with the additional gears of modern automatics and far better computer controlled transmission shifting, it makes them handle acceleration duties quite well. Plus you have automated manual transmissions out there that have no clutch pedal but can shift a lot quicker than you and I can. A lot of expensive sports cars use those. Manual transmissions used to be the cheaper option. Today there's a few where you can, there still might be the case. On others though, it can cost the same or force you to pay for more options if you want to row your own gears. Manual transmissions can be a pain in traffic. If I had to commute in places like LA, Atlanta, New York City, or Miami, I may very well buy an automatic commuter for the trip. I also think at times there are, there's not as large of a car loving culture as we once had as a whole. Modern car ads seem to highlight tech features versus things that make a car fun to drive. So guess there's no reason to own one, right? Well, they have their advantages still. Some are subjective. The main one to me is they are just fun and engaging. I enjoy driving and going through the gears, downshifting before taking a curve, etc. I just enjoy driving. Having some flappy paddles on the steering wheel is no substitute for me for that. Uh, they are simpler mechanically. If something goes wrong, it's likely going to be cheaper to fix. A modern automatic can be quite complicated and expensive to repair. The rated fuel mileage claims don't always tell the whole story. There have been some manual models that actually got better miles per gallon in the real world than their automatic versions. Manuals still can be performance kings depending on the car. Some of the cars still available with both have CVT transmissions as their automatic option. They don't tend to perform as well. Others are still just quicker anyway than a uh, conventional automatic version, especially when you're talking the smaller engine vehicles. A manual could be a great anti-theft device. A lot of people don't know how to drive them, so it's safe to say you are less likely to have it stolen. I remember seeing a video of a carjacking with a Z06 Corvette. The would-be thief got into the car and promptly ran away, leaving the car behind as he couldn't operate it. This isn't a reason to seek out one per se, but a lot of collector or high-end cars are a lot more desirable with a manual. But if you're a three-pedal fan, all of this is moot. Let's see for 2023 what you can still buy with a clutch pedal. Acura Integra A-Spec. The higher trim A-Spec model is the only way to go if you want three pedals and it's a $5,000 premium over a base one and the base one saddled with a CVT transmission. You get more than just the transmission available of course, but shows that manuals don't always mean cheaper anymore. BMW M2. 
453 horsepower from a turbo inline 6 and is available with a 6 speed. Sounds fun. BMW M3. The base M3 offers a 473 horsepower engine and a 6 speed. The sedan option for manual fun in BMW's current lineup. BMW M4. Basically a coupe or convertible sibling of the M3. Hard tops can get the same 6 speed and 473 horsepower combo in base form. Cadillac. Yeah, they still make sticks. Weird, huh? The CTV Blackwing is a 472 horsepower beast with a turbocharged V6 and 6 speed manual available. If that's not enough for you, how about a CT5 V series? This has 668 horsepower from a V8 with a 6 speed available. One would think of all companies, Cadillac wouldn't have sticks by now, let alone two options available. Chevrolet. Pick whatever engine in the Camaro they have and you can get a 6 speed with it. Nice. Get one while you can. The Camaro in its current form is slated to not be with us much longer. Dodge. The Dodge Challenger. Basically the V8 models can be had with a 6 speed. This is slated to be the last year for the Challenger, Charger, and Chrysler 300. Ford Mustang. Much like the Camaro, pretty much any model you want has a stick option except the Shelby GT500. Ford Bronco. If you opt for the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, you can get a manual in one. Honda. The Honda Civic. The Civic Si has a stick from its 200 horsepower turbocharged engine. You can also get a 158 horsepower Sport and 180 horsepower Sport Touring Civic Hatchback with a manual. The Type R is back and again it's manual transmission only with 315 horsepower. Hyundai. The Veloster is dead, but the Elantra N is basically its replacement. A 6 speed manual is available and the front wheel drive car has 276 horsepower from a turbocharged 4. Jeep. The Jeep Wrangler. 6 speed available on all trims. Nice. Jeep Gladiator. Same as the Wrangler. One of the two trucks left to choose from if you're after a manual transmission. Kia. Kia Forte. The highest trim 201 horsepower version is available with a 6 speed manual. Lotus. The new Emera that replaced the Evora. It has a 360 horsepower Toyota sourced V6 with a 6 speed manual available. This is the last gas powered Lotus you can buy. Mazda. The Mazda 3 wagon in premium trim is optional with a 6 speed. All the others are stuck with a slush box including the all wheel drive turbo ones which is sad. Mazda MX-5 Miata. Stick on all trim levels. I think what Mazda changed with these recently is you have to buy the fancier trims to get an automatic now. The 6 speed in these is a dream. Trust me. Mini. All 2 door and 4 door versions and convertibles can get a 6 speed. Nice. Nissan. The Nissan Versa. 5 speed available on base model only. This is your lowest cost 3 pedal option in the United States. Nissan Z. 6 speed manual in either trim level. Nice. Porsche. 911 7 speed manuals available on Targa 4S and Targa 4 GTS and some Carrera models in coupe and convertible. You can also get a GT3 in a manual. The Boxster and Cayman are also available with a manual transmission. Subaru. The BRZ. 6 speed standard on all trims. Nice. Subaru Impreza. 5 speed only on base sedan. The wagon version offers a 6 speed in base and sport models. WRX. 6 speed standard. Except the most expensive GT trim that gives you a CVT transmission. Pay more for that? Nah, I'm good. Crosstrek. Base and premium models have a 6 speed standard. I believe this is the only crossover option with a stick currently. The new 24 model is CVT only. Another car bites the dust. Toyota. 
The hot hatch all-wheel drive GR Corolla only comes with a six-speed. All other Corollas no longer have a stick option after uh, last year. This uh, was just announced fairly recently. The GR86, which is the Subaru BRZ's twin, has a six-speed in all trim levels. Nice. Supra. You have to buy the $60,000 special edition A91 MT to get a manual. Might as well buy the M2 BMW and get more power as it's almost the same money. Toyota Tacoma. Six cylinder models can get a six speed and certain four wheel drive trims like the TRD and TRD Pro. This is your only manual truck option left besides Jeep Gladiator. Volkswagen. The Volkswagen Golf. Front drive GTI and hotter all wheel drive Golf R models both can be had with a six speed. Regular Golfs are not sold in the US any longer. Jetta S or sport trims come standard with a six speed. Higher performance GLI models also are available with a six speed. And that's the list. These are only dwindling because the auto manufacturers build what we want. So if you want to save the manuals, look into buying one. Hopefully next time I do one of these, there's something left to chat about. This has been my manual transmission chatter. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, chatter out.